Okay, hello everybody, it's I, Jeffrey Take Rune Take Far. Today joining me is my buddy EV0978. Hey there. And we just got done seeing the Pokemon Detective Pikachu movie. Mm -hmm. And with that, we went out on a Pokemon spree. <laughs> Actually, not I did, he he didn't. Yeah. We, I, we I got went, these for free. I went Saturday to get this stuff. <laughs> so uh, we're going to first open up the promotional packs that we got. And then I'll focus on my cards separately. So... Let us begin here with this here. That you get this from seeing the movie. All right, time for the unveil. Yeah. So inside you get two cards. One of them is from the Detective Pikachu trading card set. The other one is a promo for Detective Pikachu. So mm -hmm. we both got the same card at the front, right? The yep. This is going to be the Detective Pikachu. We'll do a better close up later. <laughs> And right. then Which one? we oh. both got Psyduck. Okay, yep. Yeah. We, we both opened up a Psyduck. There so. we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it also comes with uh, the first real Pokemon merchandise tab thing. It has a cute picture of Pikachu on the back. And um, here's a list of all of the possible promo cards. With the, but, yeah. Um, we also went to uh, Target and GameStop today. Um, uh, they had some promos going on Friday and Saturday. Um, and if it, they might still have some, so don't be discouraged. Go out there and ask them. Yeah. Some may still have some, some may not. Yeah. Thankfully, GameStop did have them. Yeah. And for that, I got two of the Shubble. And I gotta say, Shubble looks more pissed off in the movie and in this card than he does in any video game. Yeah. Or Pokedex entry. Yeah. Uh, detectives... Uh, Lieutenant Yoshida said that he was uh, cuddly on the inside, but yet he was still sort of scared off when he yeah. tried to pet him. I actually thought the first impression when I saw Schnubble in the movie was, okay, he wants to rip the character's arm off. <laughs> like, I just got that vibe from him. But near the end, you kind of see him kind of happy and cuddly, kind yeah. of. Yeah, yeah. No, without giving... Yeah, I, he's not a really a major character, so it's okay to talk about. Yeah, him. he's not a spoiler character. I mean, yeah. you, you what see him two times, three times. Yeah, so he's not a major Pokemon, so don't don't worry about that. He he isn't the main star. But uh, I guess we can transfer uh, into talking about our thoughts on the movie from there. Yeah. So what what you think the over design of all the Pokemon that you saw in the movie? It think... wasn't all of them, but the ones they did have, which. We won't say every single one of them. Go see the movie. Yeah, they, they had about 70 designs, um, and, and they did a really good job in making them look lifelike, uh, but also finding great uses for them. Um, exactly. So, uh, of course, you had classic Pokemon, like Growlithe would be uh, the uh, Pokemon you'd see a lot with the detectives, um, but then you had, like, Loudred was doing... Uh, EDM music from its mouth, which was really cool. That was actually pretty cool, and that's how I figured they were going to put him in the movie, like some type of music thing, because that loud dude would be perfect for parties and stuff, so mm -hmm. I just knew they were going to somehow work. I knew he was in there from the trailers, but I didn't know how they were going to move him in there in the actual movie, because trailers always like to sell you something, but they don't sell you everything. They give you that little taste just to get you to go see the movie. Yeah. Go see it uh, just to see more Bulbasaur. The Bulbasaur was great, too. It Bulbasaur was... It was so adorable. I just wanted to cuddle with it. It, it was so cute. And mm -hmm. definitely the Squirtle. Squirtle was definitely the cutest, I think. No, I, 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 I stick with Bulbasaur. Mm -hmm. um, but to be, each person will definitely come, come uh, through the movie and find their favorite. Um, Definitely. The designs are so surreal that it actually feels like a, a Who Framed Roger Ra Rabbit or a Space Jam. Like the, they feel like they actually belong aside humans. That's how well they put this movie together. It's like a modern day version of Space Jam and Who Framed Roger Rabbit. But the CGI isn't shitty or crappy like... It used to be. They actually did a very good job with the details of the Pokemon. They did their research, and I think for the first time, we actually have a win for a live adaptation of a video game here. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you agree with that? It, indeed. Uh, I definitely would. Um, and 
uh, I, I would say that uh, it's a big win for Pokemon in general. Um, mm-hmm. it, it's definitely uh, a movie that you would want to go and see uh, if you're a Pokemon fan or if you're not a Pokemon fan. It's still a very good budgeted yeah. movie. So um, go and check that out. Uh, and then we've got one more thing. Um, and uh, while we were at Target trying to get uh, an- another promo, they were out at Target uh, for us. So but... I got uh, the Sun and Moon team-up. I've never actually seen the team-up cards before. They didn't have them at the Walmart I went to in Cape. And, of course, the official Pokemon store in Cape Dorado shut down. Even the smoke shop that turned uh-huh. into shut down. It's now for sale. But, uh... So, this is his first pack for Pokemon Team-Up, so mm-hmm. he's going to open that up. And Lobo Hatsumiku, this is not a part of our little challenge thing, so don't don't worry about that. <laughs> Okie dokie, so right here we got a Gengar and a Mimic. Mimicky, or is uh, it Mimic? Mimic you. Mimic you. Like Pikachu, but it mimics you. Okay, Mimic you, okay. Yeah. Let's see what goody goodies I get. All right. Okay, so Ooh, we have... White label. White label, so you know what that means. A rarer card is more likely. Let's see. Oh, and Lovable Hatsumiko just commented on something, I guess. So, uh, let's see. Right now we got an Amolga. Sorry, scoot closer here. Yeah, you scoot closer. So we got a Molga. We got a Staryu. We got a Poochiana. We got a Geodude. I don't know, I don't... I don't like the look of that one. What do you think? I mean, it's the Alolan form, so it's okay. electric type. It just the, the, it has hair. It, it, it's not supposed to have hair. <laughs> we got a Parasect. Just Paris. Or Paris. I remember the first episode I saw that on with Team Rocket and everything. You actually rooted for Team Rocket. They were actually the good guys for once. Yeah. Uh, ooh, Hidorana. I kind of like that shine it's got to it. Uh... Amastar. Uh, we got an energy. Uh, trainer card. War turtle. And Heliolisk. Yeah, so it didn't actually have um, a super rare card like, like uh, we were hoping. Yeah, this is actually the first white and green card I've had that has not had a super awesome or rare card in it. So that that was actually very disappointing, but um, it you always take that risk with the new thing, and and mm-hmm. you, at least all of these cards are new to you. Yeah, so. definitely new, except for the Emolga. I think I actually have that one. How can you have it if you haven't had the team up set before? Uh, or at least a different style, I think. Yeah, maybe. Anywho, mm. but uh, uh, these are all pretty cool looking cards, so yeah. definitely nice for my collection, especially with the promos. The only other promo Pokemon card I ever gotten was Mew from Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. Only other pro- Pokemon promo card I ever gotten. <laughs> All right. So. Well, anything else you want to say, man, about the Pokemon movie? Um, it, not really, because um, uh, I don't want to spoil much of anything. Um, it. I will say this: if you have not, um, it, it, if you're trying to wait to see the movie. Um, after playing the video game, I would recommend seeing the movie without playing the game first. Definitely. Um, I do think that there are some spoilers for that, but he hasn't played the game, so I don't want to ruin the game for him. Yeah, either. I haven't played the game. I was thinking about getting it today, but I'm like, nah, I'll just get a micro SD card and wait for it to go on sale on the DS store, which I know will go on sale again soon, so I'll get it for an even cheaper price. Oh, uh, we also stopped by Burger King. And they have Detective Pikachu oh, yeah. toys right now. Uh, um, it's over there. Um, let's see. I, I've gotten the Bulbasaur tour before, and then we we both got uh, top shelf. Uh, we we both got the same uh, toy. So he's gonna open that up and show you that real quick, and then I think that's it. So right here we have the Arcanine. I pronounced that right, right? Yeah, Arcanine. Okay, so this is basically a launching toy. We're going to take this, place it in there until it snaps, and then, boom. Flamethrower. <laughs> I gotta say, these, the toys you used to get at Burger King were definitely evolved. 
since the last time I've been to a Burger King. That was when they sold Jimmy Neutron toys for the first Jimmy Neutron movie. So it's been a while, but the toys there, they've gotten better, better quality at least. And I'm hoping that these don't break down as he said the other ones did. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, that's well, that's it, I right? Think that's it. So, uh, thanks for having me. And... All right, man. <laughs> and as always, please subscribe, leave comments. Please subscribe to him. He is an awesome friend of mine. He is my best friend since childhood. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really making videos right now, but I, I do have some uh, playlists that you can check out. That's uh, EV09876 on mm -hmm. YouTube. His playlists are pretty good. He he's good with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Peace out.